Now, just kind of thinking ahead of what our uh, you know front end would look like, even though we're not going to build it, uh, taking a look at any social media type application, you know, when we retrieve the posts, we usually want to embed uh, the user's ID. So we want to know who actually created the specific post. We wouldn't just put the owner ID because no no user, none of your users understand that ID. They want to see what is your you know Twitter handle, what is your email, whoever created that. We want to see their user ID. So it looks like for all of the posts that we retrieve, we would have to then send a second query to retrieve, you know, hey, what is the information for user uh, with an ID of 23? And then once we get that, we would then have to kind of combine all that data so that we can figure out what post uh, it belongs to what user and what is their specific username. Now with SQL Alchemy, we can kind of set up set it up so that it automatically does this for us. And so if we actually go to our models, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a relationship. And so this relationship isn't a foreign key. It does nothing in the database whatsoever. But what it does is it'll tell SQL Alchemy to automatically fetch some piece of information based off of the relationship. And so here I could say, we'll create a owner. And I'm going to say owner equals relationship. And we probably have to import this. And so it did. So it imported relationship from sqlalchemy.orm. And so if you haven't done that, go ahead and do that. And what we'll say is, this is going to return uh, the class of another model. So here I want to return the user. And this is going to be a capital U because I'm not referencing the table. I'm referencing the actual SQL Alchemy class. So what this is going to do for us automatically is that it's going to create another property for our post so that when we retrieve a post, it's going to return a owner property. And what it's going to do is it's going to figure out the relationship uh, to user. So it's going to actually fetch the user based off of the owner ID and return that for us. And there's nothing else we have to do. It actually is that symbol. This is one of the great parts about SQL Alchemy is that these relationships will automatically make it so that it fetches that data for us so that we don't have to manually do it ourselves. So let's test this out. Let's see if this actually works. I'm going to go back and I'm going to retrieve all posts. And uh, it looks like nothing's changed. We don't get any user information. We do once again, just get the owner ID. So what happened? Well, you probably can guess we need to update our schema. And so if we go to our post, we're now going to return a user. And so here, what we would do is we would just add another property called owner. And then here it would, instead of returning an int or a string or anything like that, we can actually return a pydantic model. So I can say, I want you to return a user. Whoops, a user, but I, it looks like we don't have a user class. We have user out and then we have user create. So which one do we actually want to return? Um, probably user out, because that's what we're returning. We'd, the user create is for creating a user. And you notice that we get an error actually here. And that's because this user out hasn't been defined uh, at this point in the code. So you have to read Python top down. And so user out is actually defined all the way down here. So if you wanted this to work, we would have to move all of the user stuff up a level. So I'm going to cut this and I'm going to just put it right above post. And so this should remove the error. And so now it looks like it's good. And so once again, all we did was we added a new property called owner, and this is going to return a pedantic model type called user out. And so that's all this is returning now. So let's see if this fixes our issue. And now I'm going to retrieve all posts. And so now take a look at this. It automatically fetched the owner. It got the ID, it got the email, it got when their account was created at. Um, we may not want that, but uh, for now, I think this makes sense. We could create another class to kind of um, narrow down the exact fields that we specifically wanted for this situation. But I think this is good enough. Uh, these are all the information that I want actually returned. So this is perfect. It's going to do this for every post. And if I try to get one post, it's also going to return that specific owner. And so in reality, to get this functionality, Right. Once again, all we had to do was just create this relationship. Uh, and so once SQL Alchemy understands the relationship, it's going to fetch that piece of information for you from the user model.